let's try not to take it for granted today. Let's try to be intentional about what we're doing, how we're doing it, where we're doing it. And at the end of the day, just look out for each other. Good morning. Welcome back. Good to see you again. Another day in the gym here. A little cooler today. A little bit colder, honestly. And uh, it's warming up fairly well, though. So I think we'll be, we'll be all right today. We'll be all right. After our squat test yesterday, we've got one more one rep max to test, and that's gonna be our deadlift. And we need, obviously, at least one day in between squat and deadlift, just as some rest. Do we, do we really need need it? Could we do it today, I guess is the question. Sure, yeah, we could do it. It is still also a deload week, so we wanna give our body the rest it needs to really facilitate as much rest, recovery, and growth as possible in this week off here. So today, instead, what we're doing, we're kind of moving outside the normal push-pull legs routine that we have here, or even just you know doing a second leg day with our deadlifts. We're doing just arms today, just a simple arm day today, and as you can see, we're not doing anything too crazy at all. We're gonna be doing some tricep push down, some bicep curls, really basic stuff, and then finishing it out with some ab work to really cap it all off. Nothing crazy at all. We are reducing the sets though. We're only doing two sets of just about everything here. And then our abs, like we've discussed before, that's one of those muscles that we can keep hitting. I am not worried about overdoing my ab work at all. We can keep pushing forward with that. That's gonna be the one thing today that we're gonna do a normal amount of volume for, and we're gonna be just fine. We're gonna be totally good on that front. So let's get started right after it. We're gonna do some tricep pushdowns over here on the cable setup. Get that moving and grooving, get our elbows all warmed up like we always need to do when we start with some tricep work, and make sure we're gonna be taking care of our bodies in the process. I'll see you over there. feels really good on my right side over here. bad feeling a little uh a little sore but in a good way you know it's a good sore it's hard on these deloads you want to do more you don't want to just stop there you know you want to get a higher intensity volume going more weight more reps all that stuff but it's just so important that we hold ourselves back just for a couple more days really and we can really kick things off next week with our with our new program after we've given our body the time it needs to rest and recover and recuperate after the training block we just finished. All right, second set. I'm only doing two. Let's take it home. Ah, oh, good control. Good squeeze. Nice. Very pleased with those reps. Those are good. Those are fantastic, actually. <laughs> okay, uh, let's get this thing out of the way here. Let's go set up for some easy bar curls. All right, let's do some curls here. Ah. Uh. Very good. Kind of reduced the weight on that one. And uh, really it was more of an attempt to make sure we were good and warmed up, but I liked, I really liked the ROM and control we were able to have with that. It's only 85 pounds and it's still, that's, that's a good workout weight right there. Really is just amazing how you can alter your workout and what you achieve with it by simply just lowering the weight down a bit or upping the weight. It, it's always fascinated me how 
the lift itself can just become so very different for a couple moments, you know, as you're repping that out with the most minute of changes. It could be the speed of which you're repping it. It could be the range of motion that you're taking with it, the weight you're using with it, even the smallest variations in forms, like how you have your hands turned. It's crazy to me. I love it. It's fascinating. Second set. Let's get a good squeeze again. That's, that's what I really enjoyed on the last one. Yeah, very good, so good, so good. So to that effect, don't be afraid to play around with it. Change your grip, change the implement you used. I've got two different curl bars here. This is a more non-standard, it's got more of an angle to those handles right there, right? And it's only really got, it's technically got two, you know, it certainly has an inner for a super close grip who are really gonna be targeting the short head of the bicep. But I don't find that one to be very wieldy to use. It's not even knurled. So it's probably not really truly meant to be used on a regular basis. Although I do use it from time to time. But just changing from that to the more standard easy curl bar. You know, as you can see, this is probably what you're more, more used to. We've got our slight bends in the bar for our two different heads of the bicep that we're going to be hitting. Different grip widths on those. And we can really just alter the smallest of details again to get a completely different workout with basically the exact same movement. I love it. All right, single arm tricep extensions. Really just wanted to use this implement, I'm not gonna lie. I've been thinking about using this implement now for like over a week. <laughs> it's a great little handle, really enjoying it. It was so cheap and it's honestly quite well made for how cheap it is. So very impressed again with this AliExpress purchase. Okay, let's get after it. 12 to 15 reps here on these. Nothing crazy, fairly moderate weight though. Great. Noticed that my left elbow has been a little sore is not the right word, but tender probably since yesterday morning or so. I'm guessing it's just the bench work. I'm guessing, you know, it wasn't warmed up enough, something like that. And it's just feeling a little bit like, kind of like tennis elbow if you've ever had that before. But pay attention to that. I'll probably put some CBD salve on that today. Maybe ice it a little bit as well. It does not hurt during the day. It doesn't hurt just moving it around either. Um, but now that we're lifting, you know, it's getting a little sore as we, as we fully extend it. So we'll keep an eye on that. Make sure we're not doing anything too crazy here in the coming days with it. Set two of two, same thing. You know, it's good to have the dogs back, but uh, watching them jump around always distracts me. I love watching them play like this and they get all their little tail wags going and they start pouncing on top of each other. Like any second right now, Baloo gonna do it. Oh, big boy's gonna do it. Saying, come get me. There they go. <laughs> Just don't knock the camera over, okay? <sighs> Okay, all right. Last arm day focus exercise. We still got ab work to do after this. We took the exact same setup we had uh, for our triceps 
and we've just moved it down here. So we're using a single handle again, doing some hammer curls. We're bringing them crossbody, right? So we're not gonna be bringing them out in front of us up here as far. I wanna keep it close to the body. Instead, we're gonna be bringing it right up, pressing it right up against our abdominals, our pecs, and trying to keep it as close to our body as possible. Let's do it. Nice. Let's see how the left side feels. This is the one with the uh, slightly tender elbow. Ah, also good. Very good. Okay. Set two. Come on. Good. <sighs> Just received word that one of my fraternity brothers was diagnosed with cancer. You know, you hear these things and you hope that there's some kind of outcome, some kind of path forward that allows everybody who's close to him, his family especially, his loved ones, his friends, to continue to support him and help him and enjoy him. And I, I, I literally just found out you know, a minute ago as I'm working out here and uh, I'll certainly be reaching out to show my support, learn more, uh, see what I can do. I'm privileged enough to work in the healthcare space, specifically, namely, with oncology clinics, helping their patients find financial assistance. This free money from foundations and manufacturers that's out there. So I'm certainly going to reach out to see what assistance I can be, what connections I can provide that might be able to help alleviate that financial burden on him and his family, because uh, it's not it's not going to be a cheap process. Uh, on top of everything else that that family's going to have to deal with. So check in on each other. Reach out. It's just a good reminder about how little everything really does matter in the end. We're only here for a certain amount of time and we can only do so much with that time. And at times I think we take it for granted. We really do. We take our time for ourselves for granted, with our friends, with our families. Let's try not to take it for granted today. Let's try to be intentional about what we're doing, how we're doing it, where we're doing it. And at the end of the day, just look out for each other. Remember the human. There's so many times where it's easy to fly off the cuff and go off on somebody for some minor inconvenience probably. Uh, but you know, it adds up. We all have our trials and tribulations and tough days. I had a very tough day yesterday. But we're all human. We're all just sacks of flesh floating around in this rock in space. No one's better or worse than anybody. No one deserves more or less than someone else. We all deserve the same, but unfortunately, we're on this floating rock. And at times it feels like we're in some kind of game that's been rigged against the majority of us. But we can stick with each other. We can help support one another and check in from time to time. So I'm gonna do what I can do right now, what I can control right now, which is finish this workout. And then I'm gonna go inside. I'm gonna hug my wife and my kid, my dogs, my cats. And I'm gonna get ready for the day and make sure I reach out to my fraternity brother, check in on him, see what I can do and see what help I can provide. But use this as a reminder that everything is just given to us, unfortunately. And even the good have uh, terrible situations happen to them. It doesn't mean we can't get through them, though. It doesn't mean we can't persevere. And I know he will. I know he will. Take care, everybody. I'm gonna get set up for some cable crunches right here and wrap this one up. I'll see you guys later. <laughs>